Hello everybody. Here's a Saturday morning. 10 o'clock. 10 to 10. Close enough. Uh, I got these in black primer last or yesterday morning. Uh, I made videos yesterday, but they were boring. Just priming. Sanding and priming. I got them in black. Been sanding here this morning. I'm gonna paint the undersides this morning. Today. Sometime today. Uh, black seems to be very messy to sand. Uh, that was hard to sand. I did some of it with 400 and I did some of it with the gray scratch brake pad. Uh, gonna ha have to hit a few places with uh, etch primer and should be good to go. Uh, this one I haven't touched yet. I could tell by the look of it, most of it's going to get scotch brighted. I don't really care about the undersides, just want to get a good coating of paint on there for protection. Uh, I'm going to try to get the insulation that goes on here so I get this painted up good, good as it can be. Uh, the hood is in good shape, but it does have, it's rough. It has a rough texture to it, so I could work here forever to get it smooth and it's just not, not gonna, because I can see the holes where the insulation pad goes, so I am gonna try to get that for this hood once the car's together, so. Uh, I did. I didn't care for that bright colored silver. It was just a little too bright, so. I went and found another color. I'll give you a shot of it here. I can get it set up so I don't drip it all over the place. Uh, one second. Uh, this stuff's more, it says it's silver. Uh, if you can see that or not. Where are we at? Uh, right there it says silver. I don't know if I'm focused on that or not, but anyways, it doesn't look silver. It looks more gray to me than silver, so let's see if I can give you a shot of it here. And let's see if I can do this this way, instead of sticking the stick in there. There it is there. I know it's hard to tell in the can, but you know, there's quite a bit of metallic in it. Here's a better shot of it there. So that's the color I'm gonna try. Like I said, if I don't like it, I can change it. But right now, this is all, all experimenting to see what color I'm gonna end up going with in the end. So, but I am gonna use that other silver for the carbon fiber look on the underside of these parts. I got these, I only gave this just a couple light coats of the black primer, just so that it all covers good with that paint, because it is transparent. So I figured the black would cover better than the, the white, so. And I got the undersides all done. I did give them three good wet coats of the high build primer so I got something to work with and I kept it warm in here all night and it's still 24 degrees in here this morning so that's quite warm that's like 48 and 32 70 or 80 in here in between 70 and 80 so that's the way it was in here all night so it should be shrinking back good uh, this this is done on the other side it turned out nice and smooth. Shouldn't take a whole lot to block them out, so. But this is a bugger to sand. So, I'm end up using mostly scotch brake because all those little curves and stuff are sharp and stuff. Anyways, too, uh, buddy there I met on YouTube bought a tailgate from my uh, son. And he didn't see it. So, I thought I'd give him a shot of it before I get, it, get to take it down to him. I'll be taking that down to you, Digger, at the last week of May. We're going to take a drive down, and that's the tailgate. As you can see, it's just an aftermarket 86 model. Uh, there's the only mark in it, buddy. 
right there and it's very very small so it's not bad uh, the other side is I couldn't find any marks on it at all so that's it a little dusty but she's in good shape so I'll be getting that to you anyways guys I will be <laughs> yeah the wife said I was part woman I keep changing my mind on colors so but this is time to do it early in the game so uh, sooner or later I'll come up with a paint scheme I like I'm hoping I like this color uh, I think it'll go better with the carbon fiber look so that's what I'm hoping uh, I'll know as soon as I start spraying it on these panels the underneath of these panels so and uh, I'll be back here a little later once I start putting uh, some color on so got a ways to go yet get some sand in I'm gonna vacuum that off because I'm not gonna blow it off and uh, make sure I got it all scuffed up good same as those parts and I'll be back here a little later on well, guys here it is quarter to three and we got color there's no clear on this it's been sitting for half an hour it's flashing off pretty good it's still got a wet spot there this is the Limco base which takes hardener and I'm gonna let it flash off for another 15 minutes and put the clear to it it's turning out good I love this color um, it's unbelievable. Looks nothing like it does in the can. The only trouble with with it, very very transparent. It took four coats. Uh, I had nothing to give it a ground coat, so I just kept adding coats until I got a good coverage. But these parts are looking good, whole lot better than I had figured they were would. Uh, say I'm just going to mix up my clear and probably give it another 15 minutes this part here is flashed off really good a uh, hood is hard to paint uh, that's why I think I got it heavier in some places because you had to do the little corners and underneath and I'm getting a lot of dirt falling out from under here and I blew this out, I pressure washed it out, and I've been blowing it out, and vacuuming it out, and there's still a little specks coming out, but it is under the hood, and it does look good. I'm liking it. So that's going to be the color of the Nova, right there. They say that's silver on the can, but that don't look silver to me. Looks more charcoal, but... Uh, Here's the, it was a two to one mix, that's why it was so transparent, plus three percent of the hardener. This is the hardener, and it's slow too, so. Uh, probably should have got a medium. Anyways, um, <laughs> you're gonna laugh at this. Now I had this gun here. I've had it for I don't know how long. Uh, I I remember buying it, but I can't remember exactly when. It must have been six or eight years ago. Anyways, I paid 89 bucks plus tax, so it's getting close to a hundred dollar gun. Don't know if it's an airco, it's just an off brand. Well, I had lost the cup. I found a cup this morning or yesterday uh, that fit the gun, and I put it all together. And it sprays nice and what I like about it it's got this locking nut on it so so far I got it spraying the base good so I'm gonna try it with the clear and hopefully I don't got to adjust it but uh, that's the gun I'm using and it works really good it's got a 1.4 tip on it it's upside down um, if you can see that or not straight on the top there 1.4 uh, it's got lots of holes in her but it sprays really nice so I'm hoping the clear goes on good and I'm using this cheap clear that's uh, $115 for that 
and that. It's four to one mix, but it's pretty good clear. I've been using it on everybody else's, so I'm gonna give it a try on the underside of these parts, see how she works. So anyways, I'll be back here just as soon as I start, as soon as I get her all cleared up. See what she looks like. This looks a lot different. The base on this really goes flat. And uh, hopefully the clear brings her right to life. It's got a couple rough spots, but like right there. But like I said, I don't care because I'm going to put the insulation back in. And uh, that'll be mostly covered. I just wanted a good coat of paint on it. And so far she's looking good. And hopefully tomorrow we can get at the carbon fiber. On the other side, I take this because this hood rolls around. So that's got to be done too. And I take this right here and cut it out for the inner frame. So I'm going to have to retape this all back in again and paper the underside of this so that it doesn't get all overspray on it tomorrow when I do the black and then the silver with the mat. So, anyways, I'll be back here in a few minutes or half an hour or so. Hello, oh guys, here we are. It's 5 30. I finished these up probably an hour, an hour and a half ago. I just let them uh, turned up the heat in here and got her dried out. It actually is dry, very smooth to the touch, except when you hit a dirt nib. There is dirt, it kept flying out from under here, and I just I couldn't stop it. So, but like I said, it is under the hood, so. I'm very happy with the finish I'm going to have for this. So, I like the color. I'm liking it. Uh, it says it's silver, but I'm saying it's more charcoal than it is anything. See if I can get a uh, close up of the color here. There's lots of metallic in it. Come on. There you go. Very, very, a lot, a lot of metallic in it. Got a good finish. Very happy with it. I go real slow, it focuses. Three, three coats of clear on this. And rather heavy, I believe. You can see right there, it's really Go figure, there's not much orange peel in it either. If I get this on the outside of the car, I'd be really happy. Like I said, this is underneath, so looks like a new one. This here, the front bumper filler panel, nice and flat. That little gun. <laughs> oh, I wish I had to put that together a long time ago. You can see little dirt nibs in it there. One right there. Looks like a mountain. Other than that, looks pretty good. And the cowl panel. Probably a little overkill for underneath these panels, but. At least I know it's there. And if anybody ever takes them off, they'll say, Ooh. Anyways, that's it. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about the paint, it took a lot to cover. Uh, it's two to one mix plus three percent of the hardener that goes in the base. Um, Other than that, it took four coats of clear, uh, base. Uh, still can't get over that can. It says silver. And that does not look silver to me, but that's the clear. Four coats of that clear. It's really good clear. Now there's the little gun that I used to do it with. So I'm some, uh, glad I dug it out and fixed it up and cleaned it up and bought a new cover for or a cap for it. Seems to work really good. So. 
Anyways, guys, uh, tomorrow's a big day for the carbon fiber. <coughs> if I can get that to turn out good, I'll whack the clear to it and cut and buff it and shine her up really good. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to do the video on that and I'm going to try to turn it on while I'm doing it to see if it, to get the process, how I'm going to try it. It'll either turn out or not, so I got nothing to lose. Just playing, and if it does work out, these parts will be put away as done. So that'll be a step in the right direction and getting the Nova back together. And at the end of the month, the Nova's coming back in, and I'm going to try to get the two bodies, pieces of bodies attached back together, and the rear end back under it, and the subframe back under it, and maybe the motor back in uh, in three weeks whether I can do that I'm not sure but we'll give her a hook and uh, go go for the distance anyways because uh, I got those three weeks off and Cherry doesn't and then my next two weeks she has off so I don't know what I'm going to get done to it then but I'll keep working away at it a uh, little at a time until she's done and uh, someday I'll have her all together in this color. I really like this color. Take it over it. So, and uh, 265 Chevy. Uh, thank you for that information. I think I'm ready to go on the mumble. I got it all in there. I haven't tried it yet, but I might give that a try tomorrow afternoon and try to catch you guys on there tomorrow night. So, uh, hopefully I can figure it out. So, um, looking forward to that. And I'm going to call it a day. That's it for today. That took a lot longer than I thought. A lot longer. But she's done. So, that's all I can ask for. And I will let you go here. Because my battery is whew, really low. And hopefully everything goes good tomorrow. We'll get the tops of these in the carbon fiber look. So till then, thanks for watching and all your comments. Really, really appreciate them. So take her easy guys and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.